everyone. Welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. This is episode 109, The Zoo Dinosaur Planet Part 2. And hopefully you remember from the last one, but I mean, you could have fallen asleep, so who knows, that the main character went to a dinosaur zoo planet to try to figure out why the dinosaurs were going extinct. And then it found a ship that had been abducting the dinosaurs and taking them somewhere else. And when we left things, the main character was sitting in the ship, chasing after the bad guy. As usual, just get as comfy as you can in your bed, close your eyes, and imagine yourself doing what the kid in the story does. You wake up and open your eyes, and you realize that you're in the middle of spaceship, sitting on the couch in the living room. What were we doing again, spaceship? You ask. We were chasing an unknown alien, spaceship explains. Oh yeah, well, are we there yet? You ask. Yes, says spaceship. We have recently come to a stop. Look. You look out the view screen, and you can see a very strange set of planets. It looks like a huge cluster of metal worlds, all connected together in a line. There's little ships flying back and forth between them, and the big ship you were following flies toward one of them and lands in the hangar bay. Well, spaceship, engage the invisibility, you say. Understood, says spaceship. Suddenly the ship glimmers around you, and you can tell that it's become invisible. You jump in the control seat, grab the steering wheel, and carefully steer spaceship around the other ships and over to where the big ship that stole the dinosaurs was docking. As you get closer, you can see right into the hangar bay. There's some sort of force field that keeps the ship or world or whatever it is pressurized, but you can see right through it. You watch as the back of the spaceship opens up and dinosaurs start to get carried out. Each of them are on long leashes, and there's mean-looking guys zapping them with little zapping sticks, making them go where they want them to go. Oh no, you say. These people don't look nice at all. No, says Spaceship. They do not. We have to get in there and see what they're doing with these dinosaurs. Spaceship, get tiny. Understood, Spaceship says. Spaceship immediately starts to glow a bright yellow color, and then it begins to shrink. Smaller and smaller and smaller. And as it does, the things around you get bigger and bigger and bigger, until you're the size of a tiny little insect. You fly over towards the shield. Spaceship, can you find a way through this thing? Yes, calibrating spaceship shields now. You see a little glimmer on the outside of the ship. Can we just drive through them now, you ask? Yes, says Spaceship. You carefully pilot the ship through the shield. You see sparks and sputters outside the window, but you pass right through. You fly over to where the dinosaurs are being taken out of the ship. There's hundreds of them, each one being marched out, then down a hall. You follow the dinosaurs carefully, navigating through the hall and trying your best to stay out of sight. Luckily very, very small still. The dinosaurs are taken down a long corridor, which leads to a huge open room, and inside the open room 
are floors and floors and floors of cages on every side, each one just big enough for the thing that's being kept in it, and each one protected by some sort of force field. The section of the ship you're in seems to be entirely full of dinosaurs, thousands and thousands of them. You fly around the huge area, and you see all of the dinosaurs looking, well, they're looking kind of sad. Most of them are just sleeping, some of them are eating a bit, but they just don't look like you're used to seeing the dinosaurs look. This place reminds me of the zookeeper's ship, you say. Interesting observation, says Spaceship. This ship is made of the same materials and design from the zookeeper, explains Spaceship. You mean this spaceship is probably from whatever species the zookeeper was in the first place? It would seem to be the case, says Spaceship. What is up with these people always collecting different creatures? This place is massive, and I wonder what's even in the other compartments. This one's full of dinosaurs, but there's like hundreds of these compartments around here that we saw from outside, you say? Yes. Each one seems to be full of a different set of creatures. It is like a dinosaur zoo. Well, the planet we were on was like a dinosaur zoo, you say. This is like a dinosaur prison. We need to get these dinosaurs out of here. There's nothing I dislike more than captured dinosaurs. How do you plan to do that? Asks Spaceship. Huh, well, I didn't really think that far ahead. First we should probably figure out who's running this thing and then maybe we could like hack into the system and let them all out or something? That is a good idea, says Spaceship. Locating any life forms in the area, Spaceship says. Thousands of life forms detected. Uh, did, of course there's thousands of life forms detected. We're in the middle of a dinosaur prison. What we want to do is scan for whatever the zookeeper guy was. Look for any creatures that are like the zookeeper guy. Scanning for zookeeper guys, Spaceship says. Zookeeper species located. Putting on map. Up on the view screen appears a map of the facility. It has a little line leading its way to a blinking dot. You know the blinking dot is where you're supposed to head. You fly down through the corridor again, and through a couple other pods. One of them seems to be full of all different kinds of magical creatures. Unicorns and fairies. It's very eerie. The next one is full of a species you've never even seen before. They're all made of green goop or something. Almost like Play-Doh or slime. But they move around. It's all very strange. Before long, you come to a huge room. It's surrounded by computers and huge screens everywhere. And in the center of the room, you see a person who looks almost exactly like the zookeeper, running back and forth, pressing buttons and talking to the computer to give orders. Mm, collect those dinosaurs over there. Yeah, that'll be good, he says. Now yeah, we gotta move these ones here. We need more. We need more dinosaurs. He mumbles to himself. Spaceship, you say. It's time to be full-sized again. 
Understood, Spaceship says. Still invisible. Spaceship has enough room in this area to grow to its full size. You see it glow and it grows and grows and grows. But the zookeeper still doesn't seem to notice it from the outside. You press the button on your watch that causes your spacesuit to fold out around you. And covered in a protective armor, you walk to the back of the ship. You press the button that opens the hatch. And then you just think about flying. You float up in the air using your spacesuit and fly out towards the zookeeper landing on the ground in front of him. What do you think you're doing? You ask. What? How did, how did you get here? I, what, there was no, what is going on? The zookeeper says. I'm here to stop you. You're putting all these dinosaurs in jail and I want them to be free. They were perfectly happy on that planet you got them from, you say. They weren't happy. They just thought they were happy. Dinosaurs will be way happier with me. I'll give them the exact food they like and exact conditions they need to survive, the zookeeper says. The exact conditions they need to survive? They need to be able to roam around, which they could do on their planet. Here they're just stuck in cages. They look sad. They're not sad, they're happy. Wouldn't you be happy if you just got to sit around all day being fed with nothing to do? Huh, well, I'd probably be happy for a while, but then I'd get bored of it. People need things in their life that push them forward. They need a little danger, they need a little adventure. They can't just be locked up in a cage all the time and expected to grow. This is a terrible idea, you say. I demand that you let the dinosaurs go and bring them back to their planet. Oh, well, I mean, if you demand it, I guess I better not, says the zookeeper. You think you can just come in here and tell me what to do? Well, that's not how it works. The zookeeper presses a button, and suddenly chains shoot out of the ceiling and out of the floor. Two of them grab your wrists, and two of them grab your legs. They pull tight, and you try to get free, but you can't. Even with the muscle assist from the spacesuit, you just aren't strong enough to break the chains. Spaceship, help me out! Spaceship suddenly appears again beside you, flies up, turns around, and then, out of almost every side of it, appears a cannon or something else that looks pretty intimidating, all pointing at the zookeeper. Um, I don't think that's a very nice thing to do, the zookeeper says. He quickly hits another button and suddenly an energy shield appears around Spaceship. Spaceship tries to shoot its lasers at the energy field, but nothing happens. It can't even seem to make a dent. Well, now that you're out of the way, I can get back to what I wanted to do, the zookeeper says. The zookeeper goes back to his work runs around the room and begins pressing buttons. Soon it seems like he's basically forgotten about you altogether. Spaceship, you whisper. We need a plan to get out of here. Can you, uh, get small enough to get through the shield? No, says Spaceship. This energy field is too dense. Huh. Can you, uh, calibrate your shields to it again? You ask. I have already attempted that and failed, Spaceship says. What are we going to do to get out of here? 
You're trapped in an impenetrable shield, and I'm all chained up. You realize that with Spaceship tied up and you tied up, the only thing you have left to work with is your mind. You think back to some of the magic lessons you've had, and you begin to slowly calm your mind by breathing slowly, relaxing your muscles in your body, and then bringing all of your focus to what you want to do. You begin to think about going faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And as you do, the zookeeper seems to slow down in its movements. And time itself seems to stop around you. Or at least compared to how fast you're going. Going at this speed, the chains holding on to your arms feel like nothing. You easily break out of them as if they were made of paper. You kick off the chains on your arms and you kick off the chains on your legs. Then you go towards where the zookeeper is. Hmm. Uh, have any rope, spaceship? Suddenly, a little thing pops out of your wrist. It's the start of a rope. As you pull it out, more seems to appear. You take one end of the rope and you wrap it around the zookeeper. Then you walk around him in circles, wrapping him up more and more and more and more and more until he's completely covered in rope. You tie it up as tight as you can. And when you're sure that he's captured, you close your eyes again, you focus on your breath, and you just let everything go. Suddenly you snap back to the time you were meant to be in, and the zookeeper realizes he's tied up and falls over on the ground struggling. Hey, let me... That's not fair, the zookeeper says. You run over to where the zookeeper hit the button that put the shield around spaceship and you press it again. The shield immediately disappears. Quick spaceship, hack into the system and let all the dinosaurs go. Understood, says spaceship. Wires shoot from spaceship into the computers on every side. And energy passes through them, corrupting the computers around it until Spaceship can do whatever he wants with the system. Releasing dinosaurs now, Spaceship says. You run back towards Spaceship and jump inside. You run to the control panel, grab the steering wheel, and the back hatch closes. Spaceship shrinks down once again to be just the right size to fit through the halls. And then you carefully begin to fly through them, back through the other chambers and to the one where the dinosaurs are being kept. You see that all of the cage doors have been turned off. Now we need some way to get these dinosaurs to the bay. Uh, spaceship? Turn into a robot dino. Understood. Spaceship glows around you and it begins to transform into the shape of a large triceratops. You find yourself sitting in the head of the triceratops, still at the controls. Okay, now let's start a stampede, you say. You begin to run around the room back and forth in circles, scaring the other dinosaurs until they all begin to run with you. And as they do, you lead them down the hallway, running back towards the hangar bay. When you get to the hangar bay, you run spaceships straight through the shield at the end. Now transform into a cargo carrier for these dinosaurs, you say. 
And as Spaceship floats through space, it begins to grow. It grows to an absolutely enormous size and shape, with a huge cargo bay at the back, big enough for all the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs, still stampeding, run straight towards the shield and into the cargo bay of your ship. You run back to the compartment where you can watch all of the dinosaurs running in and you see them all running into the huge room until, before long, most of them are there. Spaceship sends some robots to get the stragglers. Robots suddenly appear from the walls of the ship, fly out through the cargo bay and back into the zookeeper's ship. Each one collects a dinosaur or two in a net and flies back, placing them with the others. Driving more carefully than you had to before, you navigate away from the zookeeper's ship, and once you're free, you tell Spaceship to get to Super Hyperdrive, and he blasts off into space. You walk to the back of the ship, and you look out a little viewing window down onto the cargo hold. There you can see thousands and thousands of dinosaurs. Flying dinos, land dinos, and even some water-based dinosaurs. We better get those things in the water, you say to Spaceship. Already on it, suddenly you see a pool begin to appear inside the cargo hold, and the robots grab the water-based dinosaurs, lift them up, and place them in the pool. How did they get in here as part of the stampede? Oh, never mind, you say. Looking like the dinosaurs are well-kept and even fed by the robots. You lay back down on the couch in the center of the spaceship. Dim the lights, spaceship. That was a long day. The lights dim down. And you lay back on the couch. You pull the blanket up over top of yourself. And you allow your eyes to close. You begin to just focus on your breath as it goes in. time your mind wanders away from your breath, you just notice where it goes and gently bring it back. And the more you breathe, the more your mind drifts away. And you begin to imagine other things as well. Whatever you want, really.